there is a really exciting convergence happening right now, and several hybrid VTOLs are catching up to the numbers presented by business jets. The East Starling leaves this front with room for 9 passengers at 460 miles per hour and an 800 mile range. This particular design combines a generator with an all electric propulsion system, making it to be far superior to any conventional electric VTOL. However, with a $12 million price tag, it's far from being competitive with smaller business jets. But it could start a new trend and we might see more of these types of aircraft in the future. For now, there are plenty of innovations happening on multiple fronts in the aviation world. So let's check out some of the most incredible new aircraft. Now, Honda is typically not a company you would think about if you're thinking about smaller aircraft, but the new Elite S can carry seven passengers and one pilot to a maximum range of 1,400 nautical miles. Powered by two General Electric turbofans, this jet has over 4,000 pounds of thrust and a speed of around 485 miles per hour. It also cruises at around 43,000 feet, matching bigger commercial aircraft such as the 787. The interior features fully adjustable leather seats in a classic configuration, and surprisingly the jet had enough room to fit in a full washroom. The starting price will be around $5.5 million, so it's not exactly the most affordable aircraft on this list. Moving on we get to the LAR-01. A Polish company has revealed a really weird and exciting aircraft design. Powered solely by one turbofan, this four-passenger jet is intended to be one of the cheaper models on the market, with a price tag of around $1.5 million. Its numbers are also very impressive, with a 2,000-mile range and a 470-mile-per-hour cruising speed. One of its main selling features is its operation cost at $450 an hour, which is over less than half of its dual-jet competitors. This particular jet will eventually feature elliptical wings, and removable tailplane for storage. This means that you could probably park it beside your Bugatti in your garage. But I'm personally just going to stick to my FPV airplane and Honda Civic. At number 5, the Copal 50. This was one of the smallest passenger planes ever made. Driven by a single twin turbo piston engine at 350 horsepower, it can reach 25,000 feet, carry 1,200 pounds, and achieve a 1,000 mile range. A single piece canopy with forward tilting gives roughly a 320 degree view to the pilot and four passengers. Starting price tag is around $700,000, but that is a really rough estimate as development has been turned over to another company. At number four, the Nisus Aero. Gelcopters have some benefits over traditional planes, including short takeoff and landing abilities, very easy piloting, and low maintenance costs. The rotor acts as the craft's wing, and the propeller creates the forward motion. This means that the craft can fly for long durations at around 120 miles per hour. Nisus has come up with a wide variety of options including avionics, engines, and even props. The top platinum model will feature a 140 horsepower Rotax engine, which has a ceiling of around 13,000 feet and a range of 270 nautical miles. Starting price is around $115,000 but you'll probably need a sport pilot's license along with a minimum of 25 hours training. At number 3, the 716X. Derived from its predecessor model, the 714, the new variant is stretched by 31 inches to accommodate 6 seats, making it to be one of the larger aircraft on this list. Powered by a PW535 turbofan, it achieves a 462 mile per hour speed and a 1300 mile range. The design itself features a cantilever low wing with wainlets, a cruciform tail, and retractable tricycle landing gear. Production aircraft will also have a Garmin 3000 cockpit, which is pretty much a high-end avionics system, which incorporates touchscreens along with synthetic vision. There's also some clever cabin comparisons on their website, which shows the plane actually to be pretty roomy for its class, but expected price tag is around $2.8 million. At number 2, the G2 Vision. This particular company builds a variety of aircraft, but their Vision Jet is definitely one of the most unique designs on the market. Their cabin is one of its highlights, which can be customized with modular seating. This means that it can be retrofitted for executive style or back the plane crammed economics seven seater. Once again, the cabin features a Garmin touchscreen, but also has some neat features, including a ballistic parachute, along with an emergency auto land. Now these types of features will probably become more standard as electric VTOLs are already becoming highly automated. 
which is probably a good thing because there's going to be more competition and the price points for these types of aircraft should be a little bit lower. The G2 can go up to 350 miles per hour at a 1400 mile range, making it to be one of the higher performing jets of its class. Expected price range is around two and a half million dollars. At number one, the Icon A5. An all new amphibious craft is making waves. At 23 feet long, it is comparably sized to a small boat with the handling of a jet ski. Plus it has folding wings so it can be stored in the garage and towed to the local lake. The two seater has a 400 mile range and a max takeoff weight of around 1500 pounds. So it's kind of like a recreational lightweight system with some interesting safety features including a parachute along with an optional two axis autopilot. A fully equipped model starts at around $389,000. And considering the price tag of an all new power boat, I'm sure this particular aircraft is going to do quite well. But most importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these aircraft. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.